soldiers! It's <laughs> Second place, and Goku's just falling down the order now as well as Hero gets up into P3. Oh, Pepper's gonna go down the inside for the lead here in Indianapolis. Anyways, uh, well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back to the Puma IndyCar series. I'm Finical. Joining me for the first time in nine years is the lovely War Sniper. Hello there. Ooh. Um. Anyways, we of course are here at Portland International Raceway. Um. For I believe round ten or eleven of the. Then let me check that. Where is the schedule, channel? Uh oh. Uh yeah. Oh, oh so yeah. So we're here for round eleven here at Portland International Raceway, um, and I think it will be a pretty fun race here. It rained all throughout the build up to this race, so the grass is very slippery, but. Hopefully we don't won't see too many drivers taking to the grass, and I guess we will just go straight into the qualifying order. Take it away, Mr. War Sniper. Alrighty, let's start this off. We got Peppernando and Pole Precision. Not a very surprising thing to see around here. We also got King following up and Cyber after him. We also got Mitch and Fourth, which is actually a little bit shocking. Our new local en endurance racer. Uh, we got CC follow up after that, Water or Diablo, whichever you prefer to call him, after CC, and we also got, uh, Waffle after that, we also got Zero thing after that, Dambo, then Grand, then, uh, wow, I am terrible with this name, uh, Big Kalgunga. Oh. I think I'll just stick big on that one, that one. We're gonna oh, go with Baron no. after that. <laughs> yeah, please, let's stick with Big. I think Big... Big is a celebrity around here, almost, it feels like. <laughs> but yeah, let's just hop right into it. I believe they're under pacing here. And when we come back, we will be joining the field for pacing here in Portland. Let's hop right into it, and here we go, out of the final corner. It's going to be Pepper starting our pole. It is green flag here, and it looks like there's trouble. Oh, almost green flag, excuse me. It's going to be the blue Eds here, as we see... <laughs> I believe... Oh, of course, my game freezes. <laughs> of course, my game freezes, but we are green flag here in Portland International Raceway. It seems like a pretty good start for Pepper Cyber Ooh, into the inside wall there in the I'm back. The wall and oh my! Oh goodness, my goodness! Flown. Big! They've flown. They've sent it. Oh! Wow. Oh, and we have Dan, okay. Bo, and Big on their roof in turn one. That's a waffle kind of sticking at the back now. <laughs> Well, that's one way to start a race now, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we knew turn one was going to be chaos. It's a very tight corner, but Jesus Christ. Did not yeah, expect it to be well. instant. <laughs> In the corner. I'm no, unsure for, I believe it's still Raceback and King has overtook Pepper for the lead on the Raceback. Diablo's up into third as well. Here we go into the final corner. Pepper's going to give him a bump down the inside. And out of the final corner, it seems like we're just going to restart from... Yeah, it seems like we're just going to abort the start of the races. And that may have been what it said there at the top. Regardless, and Pepper will regain the lead out of that move out of the final corner. And now oh they bunch goodness. up... More people cutting this corner at the... and Cyber being first to do so uh, on this particular lap. In this... Yeah. Yeah, so I believe we will just revert back to the starting positions that we had for the start of this race. Yeah. Then it will be reset back to lap one, and so therefore, for the second time, we will be approaching well, that I restart well zone. Again. Oh, dear God. Okay, well, we will be approaching the restart zone. It is the blue at this time. 
uh, I believe at least. Um, and hopefully these drivers uh, now recognize that that is the correct starting position. But here we go then. Pepper led in turn one on the first restart. Will he be able to keep the lead this time now that King's a little bit more prepared? Here we go then. Enter the restart zone. And Pepper gets away very well. So does just about the rest of the field. Yeah, well, actually, man, oh, like into turn one they go. It. Cyber's off the track. It's three wide out the corner. Ooh. Cyber's backwards. Ooh. Cyber trying oh, to recover. Cyber and Baron, oh goodness, hey, all bunching up and big loser on that one with Cyber. Uh, really, very, <laughs> very big loser is Cyber. Oh, and there we see as we get on to Diablo's on board Gan into the grass, able to get it back on track though. Oh, let's go. Alex with Dambo going off. Oh, oh, Mish. Cutting off big, but he managed. But it's still Pepper in the what lead. What is going on with? To be struggling. Pepper up into lead. King in Ooh. second. Causing Waffle to go oh, to the Oh, CC's well. off. Yeah, big yeah. time off into the wall in the final corner. He's going to have to take to the runoff. Baron also off and slides to the grass. We mentioned before. Oops, uh, you're not supposed to see that. There we go, into the turn one they go. Mitch down the inside of both Pepper and King for the lead. And into the lead she goes. How to turn one and two. <laughs> what a move there. I mean, accidentally turned the camera off, so maybe not the best view of that move, but still, what a <laughs> move. Oh, she needs to be careful though. King's very hungry to try and get a win. Here in the later half of the season, not doing his best in the championship standings now, losing more and more ground to Pepper every race. Desperately needs to win if he wants to challenge for that championship, but Pepper has a run on him into the final few corners. Will he make a move? Mishes wide into the grass, able to keep it on the track, but will go down to third position because of it. That's just how quickly the order can change here without slippery the grasses around his track. King into the lead. Ooh, oh, but Pepper second, might go uh, down his inside. For a second, Pickle managed to collect Cyber, but they managed to both get away fairly okay. Oh, King and Pepper side by side out of turn one and two. Into these fast right-handers here. Oh, they somehow able to keep it going side by side, but it's going to be King will win out of that corner on that inside line. And now Mitch is looking to make an overtake on Pepper on that compromise line. Going on to the back stretch. Oh, they go side by side. Here for second position here, but it's going to be Pepper who has the better line. Out drew the curve there, and it will be Pepper up into second. Oh, but Pepper goes wide in the final corner. That's going to allow Mish to move right past him again. And she will just barely clear them before they even reach the restart zone. I am just now real. Oh my goodness, they made contact there for a second, but they are able to keep it clean. And the field is already extremely spread out throughout this track. Certainly so, they seem like they're making their own little classes at this rate. <laughs> yeah, at this point, you may as well consider King and Mish into the grass spins out! Off the track, she goes into the wall! Ooh, is she gonna recover in time for Big? Oh, she will just barely be able oh, to get out ahead of Big. But that is oh, disaster, speaking. and that's oh, just how easy it is. We got pickle off track, nearly causing a wreck with Aaron. Yeah, that's just how easy it is to go off track here once you get into the grass. Like I mentioned, and we're off, off, off the track now. <laughs> there though, wasn't close enough to make the move work either. And I have to say, this is a oh, pretty. Oh my goodness! I don't know if you've seen this in the background, but pickle. When, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I uh, see and she came and uh, flew over the track. Oh, Which, um, I have bad news for walls, Pickles. Sorry. I believe there may or may not be invisible walls everywhere in this infield. <laughs> and he may be trapped uh. there for the remainder of the race. Anyways, him. Um, but 
Oh man, these cards just get so loose in that little chicane before the final hairpin. And actually Water, or Diablo I guess, is starting to get really close to Pepper here down the front stretch. As they go on to lap 8, enter turn 1, they go. Water looked for the inside of Pepper, is not able to get it though. Just not a heavy enough of a breaking point for these cars to be able to make exactly that type of move into turn 1 and without it turning into disaster as we saw in the first restart. Yeah, and here certainly... we go then. Oh, and there goes Danbo. Danbo, who oh. has been struggling this entire race, will just move out of the way of the leaders and will go a lap down. Our first lapped car is on lap yeah, 8 lap of there. 55. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Is... Actually, unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Then we will ride on board with Diablo here, who is looking to try and catch back up to Pepper and continue this battle for second. It certainly has to be very tempting to try and get that overtake done in that. Um, I don't know if I can quite call it a game, but it, it is very reminiscent of one to me. Uh, what just... Excuse me, just the, the, the strong curve, so. But yes. Um, <clears throat> certainly has to be very tempting to try and get an overtake there, but you just cannot send it, as is very clearly evident at the start of this race. Yeah, you know, I it's assume... Like never got an overtake on big, and while Dambo is, again, uh, playing in the mud. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, especially not in these open-wheel cars. <laughs> this is also off-track for a second. Oh! Got back on very quickly, but... And here we see... That's going to help pace. Yeah, we, you mentioned earlier Cyber had gone past big just a few moments ago. They are now battling for fourth position. Now in the backstretch, we will actually go on board with big here for this battle as they head into the final corner. Oh yeah, that chicane, uh, oh man, I thought Big was going to go straight into the wall there. And I thought I was about to have the best angle of it ever. Turns out, nuh uh <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, we got a wreck on the back. With Damba going into the wall, it looks like he collected mitts possibly, as, as well as uh, Waffle, who seemed like he got away uh, pretty okay. Uh, going back to, onto the front steps. Yeah, that is... Damba is probably retiring, he's going into the pit lane. Yeah, that's pretty early for a pit stop as we try to get our camera back onto the car as we watch Baron slide off track in this final corner. Very easy to do that. Very easy to just slide off track once you're in that grass. You have, as we see, just ahead of Pepper is King down the inside of Baron, actually. Very aggressive overtake, trying to put Baron on lap down. He will be able to get past him. Pepper will as well, and Baron will just move out of the leader's ways. And I mean, that's the difference of pace here between these drivers, really. I mean, these drivers have are really fast around here. Just a, a lot of these drivers have been chasing a sub one minute lap time here at this track, and a lot of drivers. Uh, I mean, Pepper got very close to it, as I believe that is Danbo rejoining in pit road. I mean, oh, and right King is wide out of turn two! That's gonna allow Pepper to get around his outside! And he might clear him before they reach the curves, he will, so Pepper up into the lead! I'm gonna wait for the start of Nets left to start. Oh, never mind! King into the wall on the end turn! On the final corner, that's going to allow Diablo to go right past him. I was just talking about how I wasn't going to clip until... Or start talking. Of course, of, that's going to be in the highlight reel as well. It's just me saying I'm not going to start talking yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes straight into the wall. Um, questionable return to the track. Oh, I think that's big into the wall in the background. Yeah, that is. It is. Oof. I didn't get to mention, I, I'm still quite impressed to see how just how high quality some of these schemes are for these drivers. Big is actually slow down the front stretch, and this might spell yet another retiree from this race here. I'm unsure what he's doing, actually. 
Yeah, how high quality some of these games are. I don't. Uh, I'm hoping well, we're in agreement that Waffle does not fall into that category. Waffle. <laughs> The, oh, the yeah. oh yeah, oh <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, have you? S okay, I've just noticed <laughs> ninety-five on the roof. He has windows. He <laughs> has windows on the engine cover. Oh, Mitch is spinning off into the grass. On the final corner, waffles. Oh, that's so actually spin. a bit of a sock. That was. Actually, uh, a crazy. That was a crazy-looking spin, <laughs> and Mitch will come down pit road instantly. <laughs> and we actually have Dambo stopped on track for a moment, able to get back going here, struggling to get back going. Will come yeah. out right in front of Waffle and CC, and realizes he needs to move out the way. You know, you were talking about. Low quality seems, and I'm surprised you didn't mention Danbo. I, you know, probably for my own sanity, I did not look <laughs> yeah. closely at his game. Yeah. The unfortunate news for me, of course, is I have to look at his scheme, or I had to look at his scheme during Phoenix, since he had that very awesome battle between himself and Cyber. For the battle and for the win here, or at oh my what? Goodness, and we have big just send it down his pain. Big. big. Causing... Oh my goodness. What? Out Baron. What? <laughs> Before oh I lagged, of course. Gracious. I mean, anyways, battle for the lead here, maybe between Diablo and Pepper. We saw there while we were <laughs> looking at big. Maybe that may have made it in the clip. I don't know yet, actually. What Diablo has been able to reel in Pepper over time, looking to try and get an overtake on Pepper into pit road as I freeze. Oh, Pepper's pity. Yeah, Pepper down pit road as, of course, Roblox and my Wi-Fi being my Wi-Fi chooses to freeze as soon as he starts to make his way into pit road. So that will put Diablo up into the lead. And I hate to say this, but is that big going slowly on the back stretch? I... I... It, he is, though. <laughs> and he's off track. I don't know how you go slow and also go off. Oh, King off into the runoff! <laughs> well, quite simple, actually, though. Uh, you do one before the other. <laughs> okay, shut up. <laughs> but yeah, disaster here for King... We saw his championship. He is now squeezing Waffle and the pit road barrier. What? Uh, huh? I think. Uh. What happened? Yeah. It's. Big is kind of just slowing down on yeah, the main Yeah, okay. What in this the world? is. I think Big needs to get off track. Okay, we might be seeing angry messages from Race Control here very shortly, as Big is. Big appears to have. No other attempt than trying to kill Waffles here. <laughs> but yeah, as we watch um, Predator vs. Prey uh, documentary here, as Dambo and Waffles make contact there, to that corner, and that's not gonna help Waffles in any <laughs> capacity escape from Big, as he's going to try and yeah. run off the track and I... misses. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't say that that's the cleanest of driving we've seen. While we were watching the attempt on a life, uh, <laughs> Diablo came down, and we have a caution, and it's trying yeah, to find out what it is for. Uh, Dambo, oh, 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 it may have the wall and Dambo collected. Oh, goodness. So can we fly once again, just as the... Just as the pit cycle was starting as well. Well, anyone who just uh, pitted is really, just really lost out then. Yeah. Meanwhile, we have big down pit road, even though I'm pretty sure pit road closes. This is like watching a rally comp. Just absolute dumb fails. <laughs> Holy. No, How do you do I this, wonder... Dambo? Whoa, there goes Big. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> and collecting pepper. Oh my god. Uh, oh. This race oh. is. This race is only slightly <laughs> falling apart. Similar Ooh. position last time she won as well. Was a lap That's down a caution. Wait, no, I don't think there was a caution last weekend. Excuse me, but. Yeah, Mitch found herself a lap down in the beginning half of the race and then worked her way back to the front. I'm wondering if she might be able to do that this time. She hasn't exactly been the strongest around here. Qualified quite well, though, in P4. Pits will finally open. Okay, there goes Baron. Anyways, uh. <laughs> So we got Pepper and oh. Water staying out. Uh, Pepper making a very last second decision to not go the pit route. Um, yeah, Cyber also stays out. And I mean, yeah. that's to be expected from them as well. Yeah. I mean, really they... unfortunate though that they uh, kind of pit earlier. <laughs> but again, maybe maybe that'll give them a little, little bit of edge here. Who knows? Yeah, pepper either way. yeah, well, I mean, there's there's not that big of a difference here between these drivers. The only thing I could probably see having an influence would be fuel for the people that stayed out. They may be a little bit short on fuel. However, the last time I said that or tried to predict what this strategy was, I was... Oh, so entirely incorrect, so take that as you will. <laughs> as the rest of the people that came down pit road will rejoin the pack. And speaking of rejoining, I believe that we have myth we have a, a guy named Gan or oh. Pickles as we in the distance die. Again, um, <laughs> I think uh, we have Gan or Pickle rejoining this race here under caution. We will not be going green this time. Anyways, yeah, for, no, actually, yeah, for the third time, Pepper will start this race from the front of the pack. It'll be Diablo in second, Cyber in third, King in fourth, Waffle <laughs> and Mitch fifth and sixth, CC in seventh. Baron may barely be able to start in P8. I, Danbo, I Big, really and them. Gan will ha probably have to restart this race on the other side of the track. That is yeah. unfortunate, but what more can you do? Now watch me freeze as soon as as soon as we go green again. Anyway, the blue wets is the restart zone. We get green once in Portland. And green flag waves here in Portland. CC gets a massive start. I don't know if that's a bit of a jump start, though. He's lifting out of it. So it probably was Cyber into the inside wall once again. A little bit less chaos as they come out of turn one. It'll be Mitch up into fourth, though, getting past Cyber, who is falling down the order now after that contact in the inside wall. Oh. <laughs> oh, and Zebra gets a big from CC. That's actually going to help him a little bit. Carrying more speed into the big main, main corner. It's going to be King into the grass. He's not going to have control until he gets back on track. There he goes. Only down to fourth position for King, but CC and Cyber side by side. CC forcing Cyber a little bit down towards the inside, trying to make room for King. And Zorba Pepper's off the track! He's not in the wall, but he's going to have to slam on the brakes oh, into the wall. wall. Pepper goes. <laughs> Pepper tried to slow it down as much as he could. Tried to keep it out of the wall, but it's not going to work for him. Out of the lead, it's going to be Diablo in first. Mitch King and CC battling for second here into turn one. And CC makes contact with King there, I believe. Yeah, so CC... <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. And that we was... big into the wall again <laughs> at the back stretch. Also, yeah, Pickle off the track, and oh, Dabo really CC down in the first corner. 
CC in Cypress side by side, CC clips the grass a little bit, sends it to bound the inside of Cyber. Bound? Okay, anyways, into the hairpin, Cyber gives CC a big bump. It's gonna work out for him, though. He will stay in fourth position. So, I think of that's course. The first time I've said I'm just not. <laughs> oh, and it's Mitch off into the wall there. Yeah, um, other drivers, be wary of. Oh, and you know. Mitch spins out again, <laughs> like, tries to recover, <laughs> clips the grass, trying to carry more speed into the corner, and just does not get it right at all. You gotta yeah. admit, though, the recovery from Mitch are very quick and efficient. Yeah, they, it is very they are. Around. Yeah, they are very, very effective um, recoveries, if you would, I guess. Oh, and Diablo so slow out of those fast scepter here in the final scepter. <clears throat> Down the back stretch, King two, one to two Carlin separate these two for the lead here as they go into this fast chicane into the final corner. I mean, that's a very tricky corner. You, you It's very easy to get right, but one small mistake. And I mean, we've seen it time and time again. Cars will just go sliding through the grass into the wall. Oh. Man, oh. On the final corner. Um, oof. Yeah, unfortunate there, King. I thought was about to make a move on Diablo. He actually, well, does not. <laughs> Wasn't quite close enough, so King's still looking. To find a find any sort of crack in water's armor, basically, and there it is, water off the track into the grass. He's gonna be slow out of this corner, especially in this curve. That's gonna allow King to get right up to his rear wing down the back stretch. Here we go then. Hey, okay, will King be able to make a move? He's gonna be on the outside. He's got. He's able to save it, though, and he's gonna send it down the inside of Diablo. Spawns to that content. I believe Diablo is gonna get a better run out to final corner, and he will. But they're still gonna be side by side and to turn one and two onto lap 30. Oh, they make a little bit of contact into the corner, but they're able to keep it going. And it will be Diablo in the lead. And I mean, you. There you have it. That's just how aggressive King is going to be battling for this win. And I do not think that this battle is anywhere near over as they both pass a assuming, assumingly soon to retire Baron stuck in the grass there. Pepper is following up. He is trying to get on that tail. Cyber. Yeah, here we go then. This is your battle for fifth position and Cyber into the outside wall actually there. That's gonna allow King or excuse me, Pepper, to easily get past him as you were talking about their battle. Pepper doing well enough to recover after his been in the final corner. I'm sure that it's quite the opposite of what he had wanted that how how he wanted it to have gone, but doing you know well to recover. About? That uh, I maybe maybe mentioned earlier that uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Pepper. Oh, Diablo managed. slow onto the front oh. stretch, and that's gonna allow King to get past him before they even get into this curve here. I didn't quite catch what happened to him as I select literally every person but Diablo <laughs> on the spectate menu. And oh, Diablo into the inside wall. He's pulled a CC. Ironically, it's gonna allow CC to get past him as well. <laughs> There is no way I just he's said that. A CC. <laughs> he's pulled a CC. Ironically, the person that gets past him is it's the man CC. in the Mercedes livery, wow. CC. Oh, and, oh god, I've just smacked the crap out of my microphone. See, King, slow out of turn one and two. That's actually allowed CC to gain on him quite a bit. And CC may have may have been angered. And we have a caution. Oh, what do we have a costume? I for? believe, oh, looking at the touch. tracker, we have. Yeah, you know, the group of cars slow. Yeah, yeah. Just looking at the tracker, was a group of cars slow in the final corner. I believe something has happened between those two. 
And that has unfortunately brought out yet another caution here. Race back for the lead here. King into the outside wall. He's not slow because of it though. King will re lead as we go under caution for the third time here in Portland International Raceway. As I was saying though, um, I think it might have been an unfortunate thing I said uh, that provided a commentator curse for Pepper. Oh, really? I don't remember the exact line. But it was something along the lines of, I'm sure he could recover very easily if he still felt like it because of the pit he decided to do prior to the first caution. Yeah, I think I'm so. also a little bit responsible for a little bit of a commentator's curse as well. I mean, he's up into fifth position, so it hasn't destroyed his race yet. This caution will cer certainly help him get back into this battle for lead, assuming we keep it green to the end. I believe we will probably see majority of the pack pit this time, and that may be the final pit stop till the end of this race. That much, probably trying to save more fuel under pacing here. Oh man, <laughs> CC just just about missed out on jumping King in the pit cycle there, but. As they come out, I believe they will hold on to the same order, actually. No, Pepper will gain a position during that pit cycle, so very good pit stop there for our current championship leader. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm for once thankful that my game freezes, luckily while we're under caution. Um... <laughs> But yeah, here we go. I would assume that we will be going green next time. Seems like it at least. Not too sure just yet though, but at the moment that's my assumption. Oh, never mind. We will be going green this time. So, race control deciding to jump the gun a little bit we'll be going green this time I'm gonna be very interesting it's gonna be very interesting to see how Diablo will be able to hold off on much much older tires and a lot less fuel than a lot of these other cars in this field but here we go then or I believe the fourth time today here in Portland the green flag will wave, and just about everyone gets a better start. Then Diablo, they're already three wide going into turn one, four wide. There as Pepper sends it down the inside, and it's going to be Mitch who will cut the entire chicane. She will probably have to give up that position, and it's going to be CC who will just run away with it there. What a start for CC as Mitch flies off the track into the wall in the background. And a big moment there for Pepper, you send it down the inside and forced it four wide, forced his way up into second here. King has fallen all the way down, Diablo has also fallen all the way down in this pack, besides Mitch of course. But it will be CC in the lead, Pepper in second, and Cyber in third, and King down the inside waffles through this fast chicane there into the final corner, Pepper's off again! Into the wall! That's, uh, yeah, that, that, that let Mitch get by, too. That's actually kind of... Yeah, Pepper just sort of trying oh. to use the tire barrier to guide himself back onto the track. He has recovered now. As aggressive as he wanted to be on his strategy, unfortunately, there is a little bit of a line that you have to cross where... You cross into the realm of extremely smart, interesting strategy to CC's off the track and then into the grass, into the wall. CC out of the lead is gonna be Cyber and King battling for the lead. Then, why is it every single time I try to monologue about something, something else happens? <laughs> I'm noticing that they, I, they, I don't think these drivers like me yapping. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's just a oh, oh I big is dead. I I oh. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have had a casualty. I 
am unfortunate enough to announce it. It's oh, going to be a caution. Of a caution. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> I... Oh, Cyber's off track there. That's going to allow King to go side by side with another backstretch for lead. But it's going to be King into the lead because he has a better run. Wasn't paying attention. Oopsie. Anyways. <laughs> Like. Into the chicane, King keeps it clean, and it will be King who will lead this race back once again. And we have officially <laughs> flipped over the turn one wall three times. Race control is uh. keeping tally, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so I believe the pits will be open this time. Diablo's probably regretting pitting immediately now. <laughs> yeah. So for this season, what's the most uh, pits we've had so far? Uh, yes, easily. No, er, not, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't. Uh, oh, cautions? I don't really know. Waffles and Diablo will stay out again. However, this time, Diablo will be on only slightly older tires, this time. I've noticed something unfortunate. Hmm. Despite uh, it being a road course next uh, Sunday, I will not be joining in the commentary. Aww. That is unfortunate, and I am sad to hear that. You might be, considering how this race is going, you might be dodging a bullet. We don't really know yet to try and gain as much of an advantage like we saw last weekend or the last I think it was last weekend that Mitch won I don't remember no yeah it was um last weekend we saw Mitch win in quite spectacular fashion actually um uh while during the driver's debrief after the race Mitch and Pepper were talking <laughs> to each other about how much fuel they had left at the end of the race, and I think Pepper was very surprised to find that Mitch had way more than enough fuel to finish that race, apparently. But yeah, as I was about to say, I believe we're going green this time, and we are. So Danbo will be just about the only person who missed this restart big. I think will just about catch up, though he may still be a lap down. But it will be Waffles in the lead this time. Here in Portland, it'll be 16 to go when we cross the line. Big is going to pass them as they go into the restart zone to unlap himself. Green flag in the air here once again at Portland. And it's a good start. They're three wide already. Oh, and here we go. It's a good start for Diablo. He's up into the lead. Waffles has fallen down into second. It's King and Cyber. It's King and CC will be side by side. No, it's King and Cyber. Excuse me, who are side by side? Oh, Mitch is gonna give King a little bit of a bump. He's gonna lose control and today. He pits to the corner into Cyber. Mitch and Cyber off the track. They go. And they're gonna have to be careful. There's a bit of runoff there that's gonna help them. Diablo and Waffles both off at the same time. They're gonna go side by side for the lead. Here down the back stretch. But it will be Diablo in the lead, and, and your top three are separated by easily less than a tenth. And CC down the inside of Waffles, and Waffles is going to do a little bit of a switchback move, and he's going to be able to pull off a double overtake there into the lead there. Re overtook CC, overtakes Diablo for the lead here, going on to lap 41. Uh, three, two, one. Anyways, Waff Water onto the rear wing here of Waffle into the final corner. He's gonna look for that inside. Big is around in the final corner. King lets him. CC into the outside wall trying to avoid him. So chaos in the final corner. I don't think there's gonna be a caution called for it. But that is unfortunate for King. And they're gonna go three wide here for third I into don't turn think one. This is of all the wise things I've seen in my oh, life, and there I don't goes think Mitch. this is going to be one of and Mitch in the wall. How Mitch, Mitch, that oh, collected God. by CC. Oh. 
I think we may see another caution here momentarily as CC is on his roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there we go. Caution will fly once <laughs> again. <laughs> and I think Big has just punted Pepper off. And at this point, I... 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 I'm considering sending a message to DSA asking why Big is still in this race. No offense to him, I know I'm supposed to be unbiased and everything, but um... This uh, isn't... As an unbiased opinion, Big's driving standards have been quite subpar and very dangerous. And as a biased, um, opinion... Why is Big Why? anywhere yeah. near this track? <laughs> Why is he not just at home watching the race? Someone has just joined the field. Oh my god, is that zero to hero? It is zero, yeah. Oh my goodness. They've been here for like a Anyways, hours. pits are open. And everyone but zero, I believe, will come down pit road. There is name, it appears now. Here we go, pit cycle begins now. And this lesson finally, I was gonna talk about it. Every time I've seen King come down pit road during the caution, he always goes down to the very end and loses out. He's gonna lose out to Waffle and Pet. Wait, no, he may have been behind him already. I don't remember Pepper being ahead of him, actually. I think Pepper has well, managed to once again. I'll um, well, bye, CC. Anyways, um... That was intriguing. <laughs> Anyways, but... I believe we may be going green this time, which <clears throat> is unfortunate because we may have to leave Zero behind to do it. This time, I believe it will be about 10 to 11 to go when they cross the line. No word that we'll be going green just yet, though. Waiting to see that confirmation. We may not be going green this time. Or he said it in chat and I don't have chat open. I'm about to be looking really stupid here in a second. I just assume we're going to go green. Probably. Right. I guess we are. Okay, no official word, and it's caught Diablo off guard entirely. Thank you, DSA. Anyway, oh, contact into the wall. It's already chaos before they even reach turn one. It's going to be Ooh, Pepper in the fun. lead. Oh, my goodness. They're bumping and banging all throughout the pack, but it will be Pepper up into lead and Diablo into second, despite being caught entirely off guard there on that restart. Oh, oh boy. that just went all the way off the road. Oh, that was burned. Oh, Diablo down the inside of Pepper for the lead. He's going to pull out of the move to Waffles off track. Looking to try and overtake Diablo. He's going to pop over the curve and lose all of his momentum. No. And just behind him, it is Danbo getting past King into this fast chicane. Diablo looked for the outside lane. Drew the chicane on Pepper. He's not going to find it. Waffles sends it down the inside of both of them. It's gonna, and it's gonna work! What a move by Waffles there! What a sin! He's gonna be able to get past Diablo and Pepper for the lead here! Oh, Pepper right on that gearbox of Waffles and every other time that I think I've ever said it, it was an exaggeration. This time he genuinely was right up in there as Ruin King gives Pepper a bump and pushes him out of the way. King's down the inside of Waffles now, trying to make two moves in one. It's not gonna work. They're gonna go sub by sub for a second. Is now in the battle, though. Ooh. And here comes Mitch as well. This battle for the lead could be anyone's by the end of this race. Into the final corner they go! Pepper barely able to save it. Got very loose over the curb. Just about saved it. And it's actually going to benefit him as he's going to get a better run on Waffle out of the final corner and overtake him for a second. Speaking of saving it, I can tell you who didn't save it. it was Cyber, Dambo, and CC, as well as Baron. They are all losers on that final corner. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate, Darren, uh. as we just saw, Pepper awkward contact over the curb. Waffle's been pushed off track by Mitch and into the wall. He will go. 
way off track and off the track he will go unfortunate for him. He was looking really strong as well. But it will be King in the lead, Pepper in second, Mitch in third, Diablo in fourth. This is, at the moment, I think I can say this is your battle for the lead, even though they are all starting to spread out quite a bit once again. Ooh, Mitch is looking to hunt down Pepper, though. Although, given all the spins and quarrels that Mitch has had to go through, I don't know. <laughs> As they go through this fast, swooping set of corners there, King almost into the grass there. Mitch looking for that outside lane. Blue Pepper's gonna block it off instantly. Not like it would work anyways. Well, Mitch sending no, he's gonna clip the grass. Just about saves it though. Kept it on the pavement, but that's gonna hurt her chances for this battle for lead. And King is actually slow on coming onto the backstretch. Now it's gonna allow Pepper to gain on him going into this chicane. Oh man, Flap going across the line here in a few moments, it will be lap 49 of 55 here as Baron will once again go a lap down, will just move out the way of the leaders, will Pepper send it down King's inside, no he's going to be patient and look for a better opening here, King a little bit wide out of turn 1 but he's able to keep it off of that curb. These corners, you just want to carry so much speed through them. But you want to be careful, there's a limit. A very, a very hard limit, if you would. Um, a very, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know, at, at Coda, you know the limit was literal walls on the inside of the corners. Here, the limit is, if you clip the grass, you quite literally go flying at 200 miles per hour into the wall. Which, in a robot standard, kind of sucks. Anyways, lap 50 of 55 here. This your battle for the win here in the dying stages of this race. Oh, and that may have been a little bit of a mistake there for Pepper. It was just a little bit of a little bit of looseness that he had to catch causes him to be slow out of turn two. That's allowed King to build more of a gap, and that's actually allowed Mitch to catch up to him quite a bit. As I lag, um, anyway, Zuno Momento later, we are back here. <laughs> Pepper's still, even after that mistake, looking to try and reel King back in. And even though King has a little bit of a nice gap here, it is nowhere near comfortable to have this type of gap too. If you have any sort of sight on Pepper behind you, you do not have... A comfortable lead, in my opinion. <laughs> but, I mean, Mitch has also been strong, even though she's been a little bit mistake-prone this weekend. Lap 51 here in Portland. Only a few more laps to go, and just as I was talking about it, Mitch into the outside wall in turn 1. That may be all she wrote for this battle or for her chance of a win here. We'll have to wait and see, though. Starting to become increasingly concerned with CC though. They are exhibiting some not very uh not very men not very sportsmanlike uh qualities here. <laughs> uh kinda of gotten through that chicane repeatedly now. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. I, I mentioned it earlier, I believe we probably were going to see a little bit of that towards the back of the field as there's- Oh, King's around up the final corner! King clips the outside wall, spins it out of the final corner, Pepper up into the lead! And King will fall all the way down to fourth! Behind Diablo! <laughs> And Mitch into the outside wall, he's, she's also round out of turn one. That's going to allow Diablo up into second now. Oh, I thought Gan was about to come in like a missile and destroy water. And luckily, he has a little bit more sense than a couple of the other drivers on this track. It's up at one Dambo. Anyways, uh... <laughs> that... Well, I talked about it. I talked. I, I mentioned it multiple times. Just how easy it is 
to lose a bunch of time at this track and unfortunately for Ki- Oh, water into the grass! Able to- No, he's gonna spin it! Tried to save it, just wasn't able to do so. And so it will be King and Mitch battling for the last podium positions here. Or battling for second, excuse me. And that may have been- Oh no, I saw a name disappear on the track or not as I- Cut away from Diablo, and I thought maybe Diablo find <laughs> decided that that was enough racing for him. <laughs> and King looking to try and reel and reel in Mitch here for second, as we saw at the top of the screen. CC getting a warning from Race Control, so Race Control being told to wake up a little bit at the control booth, I think. <laughs> <laughs> It will be two laps ago for Pepper as he crosses the line. And, and will King be able to catch up to Mitch? Mistake after mistake though, King has actually lost a lot of ground on her. And I mean, that was disaster for King. He was looking really strong there, just went a little bit too wide. And I think that is the first time I have ever seen a car hit that wall at that angle and have that type of spin. I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. And I've raced here before and I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> oh, and a late caution! As it's going to be Cyber oh. on his roof in turn one! Yep, Which would like mean that Pepper will be your winner here in Portland. And that does mean King will not be able to reel in Mitch for second. It will be Mitch in second, King in third, CC in fourth, Waffles in fifth, Cyber would be in sixth. I'm gonna end it all, okay. Um, this will not make it to the highlight reel. <laughs> Order it is now on the leaderboard will be the finishing order and they just have to Yeah, so race control just at the moment is talking about how he thinks he's gonna have to change the rules about overtimes Because technically there isn't an overtime in the IndyCar series But yeah, they will pace across the line to finish this last lap It will be Pepper who will be coming to victory lane once again here in Portland As we're about to see chaos into turn one. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That is about. And here he is, then, your race winner into victory lane. Not his first visit, and surely not his last visit into victory lane here in the Pumi and Nikar series. And I mean, at this point, I, at this point, I, I think it's worth asking: Is anyone going to be able to oh, wow. put a stop to Pepper's sort of demanding lead in the championship as we cut over to uh, the timing board? And Mitch set a lap so fast that it broke the board. Apparently, broke the board. The board, yeah. <laughs> Um, um, I want to do one tenth off from like the minute mark. That's really solid. Yeah, that is really insane. Just at during the pre race, we were talking about how these drivers lose a sub one minute lap here in Portland, and they may have not been able to find it, but they they damn got close to it. <laughs> I think that is the closest. I think that is the. Worst type of swear I will allow on this channel. Oh, e everyone has been brought to victory lane. <laughs> so basically, okay, so I think they're just going to have a driver's briefing. Anyways, um... Anyways, uh, uh... Walter wins. Yeah, Walter White wins in Portland <laughs> International Waceway. As I think uh, I'm just going to do the only logical thing and just fly away from this track. 
I I would res I um he um. What am I missing? He said right. He said right. He said waste way. No. All right, guys. So, anyways, um, I think I'm going to do the only logical thing here and fly away from Portland International Raceway. Uh, ignore the emphasis there. There was absolutely no mistake in the first take that could be used against me as blackmail. And uh, yeah, definitely a good race for Pepper. A good race across the board for a lot of these drivers. Just. An unfortunate way to lose the race there for King. Clipped the wall, spun around. But maybe, just maybe, King will find a little bit of luck in during next weekend at Watkins Glen International for round 12 here in the Pumu IndyCar Series. I'm Finical. Uh, thank you, War, for joining me. And mm -hmm. thank you all for watching. Tune in next week, of course, for round 12, and yeah, see ya.